exceptional day in court for two families. 25-year-old Kaylee Andre is charged with vehicular homicide. Police say that she struck and killed 8-year-old Adeline Pierce as the little girl boarded a school bus last week. Fox House Deidre Dukes live for us in Henry County at the Sheriff's Office where the suspect made her first court appearance. Deidre? And Tom, cameras were not allowed in the courtroom this morning as a spokesperson for the victim's family spoke on behalf of the child's mother, saying that the child's mother forgives the driver and does believe she should be granted bond. She was so full of life and joy. She was so beautiful and sweet. Heartbroken family and friends are struggling to come to grips with the death of a little girl who filled their lives with love and laughter. Alexa Wright says eight-year-old Adeline Pierce was like a little sister. It's very tragic. Like, no one, no one should have to deserve to go through this. Do you have a statement, sir? No. The judge wouldn't allow cameras in the courtroom for Kaylee Andre's first appearance. The 25-year-old was arrested for first-degree homicide by vehicle over the weekend after Addie succumbed to injuries she suffered when she was struck by a passing motorist here on Jackson Lake Road in McDonough while getting on the school bus. Addie attended Rock Spring Elementary in McDonough. According to authorities, the school bus was at a full stop, had its stop sign displayed, and its red flashing lights on when Andre allegedly failed to stop and struck the child as she crossed the road. In a Facebook post, her family said Adeline's life mission was to help and pray for others, and she now gets to do so in the most heroic way, by saving eight lives with organ donation and helping 75 children with tissue donations. A representative for the victim's family spoke during Monday's court hearing and told the judge Addie's mother forgives the suspect and believes she should get bail. Wright has started a petition on change.org for the creation of Addie's Law. It would require school buses to pick children up in their driveways so they wouldn't have to cross the street to board a school bus. I was very happy. Now, as of this afternoon, 3,100 people had signed that petition. As for the suspect, she was granted $20,000 bond. In McDonough, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Still just so sad, mm -hmm. Deidre. Thanks.